good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for turning out in such large numbers for what promises to be a, a very interesting discussion. Uh, my name is David McNeil. I'm an ex-board member of this club and a freelance journalist. Uh, today's speaker is, of course, Natsuo Yamaguchi, the head of New Komito, or the chief representative, as he likes to describe himself. Uh, the uh, main point of interest, I suppose, for journalists, so one of the main points of interest is the uh, tension between New Komito, or Komito now, uh, and the LDP over uh, many issues, including nuclear power and the economy. Uh, but uh, it's on the issue of change to Japan's pacifist stance, uh, where the apparent differences between the two parties are strongest. Uh, the LDP is challenging the constitutional ban on collective defense, with potentially profound consequences for Asia. Uh, the, uh, its Buddhist-backed pacifist partner uh, is uneasy with many of the changes that the LDP is proposing. Its supporters call Komito a break uh, on the LDP's ambitions. Somehow, despite those tensions within the two ruling parties, uh, the, they have managed to work together now for uh, many years, uh, and despite rumors that they would break up, they have stayed together. Uh, Komito has shifted ground, or many people think it has shifted ground, on uh, self-defense policy without losing the support of its religious followers and the huge pool of voters, something like 8 million, who uh, put its politicians into power. Uh, our speaker, Yamaguchi Sensei, is uh, an ex-lawyer before he went into politics. Uh, he's going to talk for about uh, 25 to 30 minutes, and then we'll take questions. Uh, can you give him the best of your attention, please, while he talks? Uh, and uh, may, if you have already done so, uh, apologize, but could you switch off your mobile phones? Thank you. Sensei. はい、はい。皆さんこんにちは。え、今日は私の考え方、公明党の考え方を教会からいただいたいくつかの大きなテーマに沿って、なるべくわかりやすくお話をしたいと思います。お招きありがとうございます。Hello, thank you very much for your kind invitation today. I'm going to begin by a explaining some of my thoughts about uh, several topics that were given to me by the FCCJ. So the first topic that was given to me today was uh, to speak about uh, security issues, uh, in particular the security legislation that is now being uh, deliberated in the Diet. I would like to explain to you um, our party's fundamental thoughts in regard to this legislation. え、公明党はこれまで憲法が掲げる平和主義、国際協調主義の精神に基づいて外交努力による紛争の未然防止と平和的解決、また国際社会の平和と安定の積極的な貢献に取り組んできました。uh, as you know, Komito has always taken uh, the tenets of the Constitution uh, very much to heart. It has pursued policies that support uh, the pacifism and the ideals of international cooperation that are expressed in the Constitution. It has also uh, uh, emphasized the need for uh, diplomatic um, efforts to try to uh, prevent uh, conflicts before they occur. Uh, it also has uh, expressed a desire to always support the uh, ideals of the Constitution, which is to contribute to uh, the international community. え、Having said this, however, I, I would like to be very, very clear. Uh, we do not believe uh, in the kind of um, peace pursuing policies which are simply words, but we believe that uh, peaceful uh, intentions must be followed by actions. In other words, we want to create a peaceful situation uh, in a very steady and uh, a, a, a realistic way. In other words, uh, we pursue a, a peace uh, that uh, is uh, accompanied by action. I would like to um, emphasize several specific points. Uh, one is that uh, we believe uh, that uh, the heart of our security uh, and peaceful uh, cooperation efforts lies in the uh, maintenance of the U.S.-Japan Security Pact. Two 
Uh, we also believe that we should play a positive role and uh, make uh, contributions to uh, increasing uh, the or deepening and strengthening the relationship between uh, countries uh, that are nearby to us, such as China and South Korea and other nations. Uh, 3. Uh, we believe that we should play a positive Uh, the third area that we believe in very, very strongly as, uh, is that、uh, as Japan is the only nation、uh, that has been、uh, the target or the recipient of a nuclear attack,、uh, we believe very, very strongly in、uh, trying to eliminate、uh, nuclear weapons from、uh, the earth. We believe that we should、uh, not simply just wish this, but we should take a leadership position in trying to prevent the proliferation of nuclear weapons.、Uh, 貧困や飢餓、感染症などから、uh, 生命、生存を守る人間の安全保障。分野における貢献を果たすということです。Uh, we also believe uh, that uh, there are、uh, many other kinds of security、uh, issues、uh, that are very important for humanity. And we believe in people security. What I mean by this is that we believe that we should make contributions to eliminating poverty and、uh, starvation and also the prevention of、uh, the spread of dangerous diseases. 大きくこれら4つの視点から平和国家にふさわしい役割を追求してまいりました。So it is based on、uh, these four、uh, principles、uh, that I've just described that we have pursued policies that、uh, ensure that Japan becomes a more, a more peaceful nation. 特に中国との関係について申し上げれば、公明党は長年にわたり築いてきた強固な信頼関係を基礎に、議,会議員間交流など、公明党独自の対話外交を現在も継続しております。Uh, in particular, in regard to our relationship with China,、uh, the Komito has long, mained, long、uh, maintained a relationship with、um, our counterparts、uh, in uh, China. And as a basis of、uh, continuous exchanges between、uh, members of、uh, our government and members of、uh, their、uh, government, we have been able to build a relationship of mutual trust. In other words, we have been able to pursue a policy, a unique policy of、uh, maintaining constant dialogue. 現在、国会では平和安全法制が議論されていますが、この議論に至るまで、えー、冷戦終了時以来、えー、およそ3つのステージを経て、さまざまな法制度が議論されてまいりました。Considerable deliberation going on、uh, about legislation that has to do with、um, peace and、uh, security and safety.、Uh, and I believe that、uh, in the years following the end of the Cold War, we have passed through three historical stages which has led us、uh, to this current、um, situation. いずれのステージにおいても公明党は与党であれ、野党の立場であれ、立法過程に深く関わって、憲法の範囲内で、自衛隊の役割、日本の役割にふさわしい制度をその都度作ってまいりました。Uh, Komito has always taken a very active,、um, proactive role、uh, in contributing to legislation that deals with the different issues of that time.、Uh, in other words, whether we were a member of the、uh, administrative、uh, government or whether we were a member of the opposition parties, we have always deeply immersed ourselves in、um, producing legislation、uh, that falls within the framework of the existing constitution, but however, uses、uh, the、um, abilities of the self defense forces to create a more peaceful world. 最初のステージは1990年から93年にかけてでありますが、冷戦の終了後、潜在していた地域紛争などが顕在化する中で、我が国は今の憲法についての基本的な考え方を国会審議を通じて確立しました。The first stage、uh, following the、uh, end of the Cold War、uh, is a period that I would describe as being between 1990 and 1993. This was a period、uh, when、uh, the war saw the eruption of,、um, or the beginning of the eruption of many, many、uh, regional conflicts、uh, that for many years had sort of stayed below the surface、uh, because of、uh, the Cold War uh, structure. Uh, as these regional conflicts began to appear,、uh, the Komito、uh, took a very proactive role in confirming、uh, the fundamental tenets of the Constitution. えー、憲法の基本はあ武力の行使をしない、また武力の行使と一体となる行動もしないというのが大原則であります。
Uh, what I mean by this is uh, that it is very, very clearly stated uh, in the Constitution, one of the great principles of the Constitution is that Japan will not take part in armed attacks, or in armed um, force, uh, the use of armed forces, and it will not uh, take uh, actions that are in concert with the armed attacks or armed um, forces or armed use of uh, forces uh, by other countries. 最初に作った法制度は PKO 協力法でありましてここでは五原則参加五原則というものを公明党が強く主導して作り上げた最初の制度でありました。Uh, it was at this time、uh, that Japan、uh, was able to pass a law uh, that uh, directly translated would be the、uh, law to cooperate with、uh, peacekeeping, international peacekeeping、uh, operations. Uh, as uh, this law was、um, uh, formulated,、uh, the Komito took a very strong、uh, position, ensuring that five fundamental important principles were included as part of this act or law. 今日まで13の活動に参加をして、延べ1万人の隊員が参加をいたしました。Uh, as a result of the passage of this law,、uh, until now, until the present day,、uh, the, the self defense forces have taken part in 13 different activities, and some 10,000 self defense forces personnel have taken part in these activities. The law was passed in the past, and 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 the この PKO 活動については、国民にも、また国際社会にも高く評価をされております。At the time、uh, that this law was being deliberated and finally passed,、uh, there was a tremendous、uh, and vocal movement within Japan.、Uh, many people、uh, objected to the passage of this law. They were saying that it was against, violated the constitution of Japan, and that it would、uh, create a situation where Japan would eventually be caught up in armed conflicts and will eventually lead to、uh, Japan participating in a war.、Uh, in fact, the voices、um, against uh, this uh, legislation was even strong, were even stronger than the voices that we are hearing today. However, over time, we have seen that this PKO law, PKO law、uh, has been、uh, widely accepted not only by the people of Japan but also by the international community. The second stage、um, historically uh, that uh, we, were, uh, we saw great changes in、uh, in terms of security legislation was、uh, at the beginning of the 21st century. This is when、uh, there was legislation passed to deal with、um, contingencies. 近隣国の中に弾道ミサイルを開発し、日本を狙って発射してくるという国が現れたことによる日米安保条約をもっと機能させる、そういう法制度が必要とされ、有事法制の体系を作りました。The reason uh, that uh, this uh, contingencies uh, legislation needed、uh, to be realized or needed to be passed was because、uh, among the countries in Japan's,、uh, around Japan's uh, periphery, uh, there were countries or there was a country that was developing、uh, ballistic missiles、uh, with the intent,、uh, it was assumed,、uh, to target、um, in part Japan. As a result,、uh, There was a general understanding that the US Japan security pact would have to be strengthened in some way. In other words, the、um, abilities or the functions uh, of the uh, security pact would have to be strengthened in some way. And that is why、uh, this legislation was passed. At this time, the Japanese security pact. という原則でありますが、例外として、えー、この領域を超える公海上でも、日本に対する武力攻撃の着手の行為があれば対応できるという考え方が示されました。At the time of the passage of this uh, contingency uh, legislation, a fundamental、uh, a decision or a fundamental、um, understanding、uh, was reached within、uh, the limitations of the Constitution.、Uh, there were many, many discussions about a constitutional、uh, theory at that time. And the fundamental、um, idea that was、um, agreed upon was a principle that、uh, if there was、uh, some kind of an armed attack or there was an imminent armed attack、uh, on、uh, Japan's territory or Japan's territorial waters or on Japan ter- or Japan's territorial. 
air space, uh, then uh, Japan would have the right to defend itself um, uh, using uh, military force. Uh, there was also one exception uh, to this uh, rule that was also um, accepted uh, at that time, which was that on the high seas, if there were an attack or an imminent attack uh, uh, that would eventually be directed against Japan, again, Japan would have the right to defend itself. 同時に日本以外の他国に対する攻撃であってもそれが日本に対する攻撃の着手と見られれば日本が反撃することができるという考え方も当時作られました。And at the same time,、uh, there was a further、uh, understanding、uh, that was、uh, in principle accepted, which was that、uh, if、uh, this attack or imminent attack uh, on uh, in, in areas、uh, on the high seas of,、uh, outside of、uh, Japan's immediate territory were not against Japanese forces、uh, directly, but against uh, other uh, nations' uh, military forces,、uh, but with the intention that eventually that、um, armed attack or armed、um, threat would eventually reach Japan, then Japan again also would have the right to defend itself. 当時と比べて今日はこの安全保障の環境はますます厳しいものが起こってきております。Of course,、um, the threats、uh, that were considered viable at that time were quite severe, which is why、uh, there was so much deliberation and、uh, this understanding, these basic principles were finally accepted. However, when we look at the current、uh, security environment facing Japan, we see that it has become even harsher and more dangerous than before. また、経済力をつけた国々の軍事プレゼンスが拡大してきている、そういった現象であります。The reason I say that、uh, is uh, because uh, there have been an increasing number of terrorist attacks uh, which have involved uh, 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 Japanese uh, persons, Japanese citizens.、Uh, we have also seen the numbers of incursions into Japanese territorial airspace、uh, requiring a Japanese、um, uh, aircraft to scramble、uh, to meet them.、Uh, we have seen these uh, incursions uh, increase dramatically in number.、Uh, we have also seen that some countries,、uh, in line with their growing economic might, have、uh, begun to increase their military presence. こうした環境変化に対応するために、今回の法制は、平時から有事に至るまで、日本の平和と安全を守るために法制度を作るということ、それともう一つは、国際社会の平和と安定のためにより一層貢献できるようにすること、これらの点で、体系的に幅広く、隙間のない、法体系を作ったということであります。So, it is these environmental changes、uh, and the need for Japan to be able to re-、uh, re- uh, respond to these environmental changes、uh, in the security situation that has led us to deliberate、uh, this current、uh, legislation. In other words, what we are aiming to develop is a seamless、uh, overall framework or system、uh, in which we will be able to prepare ourselves even during peacetime、uh, so that we will be able to deal immediately with、uh, contingencies if they might arise.、Uh, it is only if, through having this kind of se- seamless、um, security system. System that we will be able to protect not only the peace and、uh, safety of, Jap- of Japan and its Japanese people, but also we will be able to make a significant contribution to the peace and stability of the international community. と同時に他国、もっぱら他国の防衛のために武力を使うということはやらないということをはっきり決めました。Uh, the uh, Japanese constitution, as、uh, many of you are aware,、uh, has very specific、uh, restrictions on what Japan can and cannot do. So, in regard to armed attacks that are directly、um, uh, directed toward、uh, Japan, in other words, if Japan is、uh, basically defending itself or its own citizens, then、uh, Japan does have the right uh, to use um, uh, military force to protect itself. However, the constitution also very clearly states uh, that uh, we cannot、uh, use our、uh, military strength. To, uh, protect other nations. 日本の憲法の考え方、政府の考え方は、憲法9条、1項で戦争を放棄して、2項で陸海空の戦力を持たないということを規定しております。一見、非武装を規定しているように読めます。
Of course, uh, in regard to uh, the Constitution, uh, I would like to explain uh, how uh, the government uh, views uh, the uh, Constitution, and in particular how the government uh, looks at Article 9. Article 9 uh, has um, uh, several um, uh, items or clauses under, uh, beneath it. The first uh, is that uh, Japan renounces uh, war, does not, uh, will not use military uh, force. And the second um, clause uh, basically says that Japan will never have um, uh, military forces for either ground forces or uh, maritime forces or air forces. So on the surface, uh, it looks as though Article 9 prevents Japan from uh, having any arms uh, at all. え、しかし、え、憲法の全文では、平和のうちに生存する権利を、お、示し、また13条では、あ、この国民の人権を、お、に対して、政府は uh, however, the preamble of the Constitution as, uh, explains that the Japanese people uh, and the Japanese nation have a right uh, to uh, continue to exist uh, in a peaceful way. Also, um, Article 13 uh, explains uh, that uh, the Japanese people have a right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness uh, as long as it does not interfere with public welfare. え、国民の人権をお、最も、お、奪う、行いが日本に対する武力の攻撃ですから、これを排除するために、排除するための力は必要であります。しかし、9条がありますから、それは最小限のものでなければなりません。え、こういう考え方のもとで、え、必要最小
but in a great, on a great scale, the uh, Japanese people then, Japan, would have uh, the right to uh, respond uh, in return. So in that sense, Japan uh, does have, again, in a very, very limited uh, sense, uh, the right uh, to uh, collect self, uh, collective self-defense as well. 日本の自衛権の行使が許されるのは他国に加えられた攻撃か自国に加えられた攻撃かではなくてその攻撃が日本の国民の権利を根底から覆すようなことが明白であるかどうかという客観的な考え方で一貫して捉えられているのが政府の考え方であります。So I would like to explain, uh, in regard to uh, this uh, limited uh, uh, use of uh, collective self-defense, uh, it is uh, not that you look at a specific case and say that the uh, attack uh, was originally meant for, just, uh, for a Japanese um, person or a Japanese group or whether it was uh, directed toward another country, but whether that attack eventually uh, in some way would harm uh, the uh, human rights of the Japanese people would have uh, some... Uh, the effect of overturning the fundamental human rights uh, of uh, the Japanese people. If one can look at that situation in an objective manner and make that a decision, uh, then uh, the Japan does have the right in this very limited way to uh, use, exercise its right to collective self-defense. That has been the consistent uh, view of the Japanese government. このような考え方は論理的に一貫しているものであり、またこれからも変わらない。という意味で法的に安定していると思いますこれ以上他国に対する武力攻撃も他国を防衛するための武力攻撃も許すようないわゆる集団的自衛権を丸ごと認めるようなことは今の憲法解釈ではできないそれをやるには憲法改正が必要であるということも今回確認をしております I would like to uh, again emphasize uh, the fact that uh, what the kind of thinking that I've just explained to you has been um very logically um, uh, thought out uh, over the years. Uh, it is the consistent um, long-term thinking of the government, and in the future, we do not expect uh, this thinking uh, to change. Uh, in a, and that is why we are proposing that uh, this be put in uh, the uh, current uh, legislation. In other words, uh, the fears that some people may have that uh, the uh, definition or of the concept of collective self-defense might be expanded eventually in, uh, in, in terms of the uh, concept uh, that is widely used in international law. In other words, collective self-defense uh, is widely understood as being the right uh, to defend um, other nations as well. This complete acceptance of the idea of uh, a, a wider scope of collective self-defense is not something uh, that Japan uh, can do uh, under its current constitution and, and under the current interpretation of the constitution. If a larger expanded um, understanding of uh, the idea of collective self-defense uh, is to be adopted by Japan, then we believe very strongly and we have said very strongly that the constitution would have to be amended. この1年間にわたって与党で25回、並行して公明党で35回、議論を重ねて入念に仕上げました、国会でも丁寧に説明を重ねて、国民の理解を得たいと思っています。We have spent the past year uh, having uh, 25 uh, joint meetings uh, within, by the coalition parties, in other words, with our counterparts, uh, the LDP, on this matter. We have also had uh, 35 meetings uh, within the Komito on uh, this matter. We have discussed this matter thoroughly uh, from every possible point of view, uh, and we have taken uh, our uh, very deepened understanding of this issue uh, before uh, the people of Japan through the diet deliberations. It is our intention to keep on, continue explaining uh, this very complicated and difficult issue in a very clear and, uh, and uh, understandable way so that we can gain the people's understanding. Eh, uh, Hokani, Atairata Tema, Kempo Kaise, Toka, Zese, Toka, Energy Monday, Toka, Iroiro, Atan, Desga, eh, Man, I know, Jikam Mokagiri, Arimas, no, de, eh, Minasanka, Gosmo, Itada, Ite, eh, Ogotai, Shita, Ito, Omoimas. Actually, I'd intended to talk about some of the other um, uh, themes that had been given to me by uh, the FCCJ, which was a constitutional uh, 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 revision and, uh, excuse me, and the tax system and uh, energy uh, policies. However, I am limited for some time, so I'd like to refer to these um, topics uh, during the question and answer session. Thank you very much for your kind attention.
Thank you, and uh, thank you for sticking to the 30 minutes to allow time for questions. We'll take questions from the working press first. Uh, I see Teddy's hand. Can I remind you uh, to state your name and the name of your organization when you approach, when you reach the microphone? Teddy first, and then um, Isabel. I'm Teddy Jimbo with the Video News. As a courtesy to the speaker, I'm going to ask questions in Japanese. In Japanese, I'm going to ask questions in Japanese. 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 いう考えを示しているようですが、まあ、ご自身が弁護士であられる山口代表は、えー、同じような考えの、えー、お持ちなのかどうか、えー、憲法学者の意見という判断はどう受け止められているか1点目もう1点どうしてもこれを聞きたいんですけれども存立危機事態についてですね我々の記者の多くがですね外国記者も、えー、日本人の記者も含めて、えー、日本が攻撃を受けていないのにもかかわらず日本の存立サバイバルがスレッテンされる、存立が危険にさらされる、危機にさらされるという事態がです、ね、具体的にどういう場合なのかということが、なかなかどうしてもわからない、国会答弁を聞いていても、その国が日本を攻撃する意思がな,くなかったとしても、存立の危機になる場合は武力を行使するというふうに国会では総理は述べられている、まあ、石油の話とか食料の話とかも出ているようですが、具体的に公明党としては、えー、攻撃も受けていないのにその国の存立が危機に陥るような事態というのはどういうケースを一つでも二つでも構いませんどういう事態を想定し,して、えー、おっしゃってられるのかそれをお願いいたします。So I'm, I'm Jibo,、uh, and I have two questions.、Uh, first of all,、uh, as you know,、uh, the House of Representatives asked、um, three constitutional experts、uh, to come and speak before one of their、uh, subcommittees about、uh, and their opinions about、uh, the security legislation being deliberated and、uh, its constitutionality. And all three of them basically said、uh, that the current security legislation being deliberated was in violation of the Constitution. However, Mr. Komura,、uh, the vice head of the、uh, LDP, said that finally、uh, what、uh, would be、uh, the use Decisions would be based not on the um, uh, expertise of、um, uh, constitutional experts, but rather by politicians. You yourself, however, are a lawyer. Do you have the same thinking as Mr. Komura?、Uh, and just in general, what、um, is your opinion of uh, the uh, views of these uh, three um, constitutional uh, academics? And secondly,、uh, this idea that、uh, the security legislation、um, is necessary and special exceptions are made、uh, in the case,、uh, and the phrase that is being used、uh, is that in the case where the very survival of Japan might be threatened.、Um, Even if、uh, there is a case when、uh, the forces of another country are attacked, Japan is not directly attacked, still it seems that、uh, there might be possible cases where、uh, the survival of Japan might actually be threatened, even if that attacking country has no intention of、uh, attacking Japan.、Um, although there have been many deliberations about this, many examples have been given by the government, people have been talking about、uh, the cutoff of crude oil supplies or maybe food supplies, still it's very, very difficult for us to understand. What does Komito think might be an actual Situation, if you would give one or two specific examples where an armed attack against another country might actually、uh, threaten the survival of Japan. 最初の質問、学者の意見については、謙虚に参考にしなければならないと思います。しかし、先ほど申し上げましたように、憲法13条で最大の尊重を要する責任を負っているのは政府や国会でありますから。そこが憲法に基づいて自衛権のあり方、国際貢献のあり方を決めていかなければなりません。その意味で、先ほどいろいろと政府の憲法の考え方を述べたわけであります。もうにあまず So, in regard to your first question,、um, I believe, of course, that、uh, the opinions of the、uh, constitutional experts must be treated、um, with、uh, great respect and we must humbly.、Uh, Take their um, 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 advice or their thoughts uh, as uh, a reference point、uh, for our deliberations. Having said this, however, as I mentioned in the Constitution, Article 13 says、uh, that the fundamental、uh, responsibility for protecting、uh, the lives uh, of uh, the Japanese people lies with the government and with the Diet. And as such, it is our responsibility uh, to determine uh, what the uh, uh, fundamental um, uh, functions of、uh, the self defense forces and the fundamental shape of our international cooperation should be. So, it is with that understanding in mind that I've spent some time already describing to you、uh, how the government views these issues and how the government views、uh, the Constitution. 
、えー、新しい要件における存立危機事態と言われるものは、大事なところは、国民の生命、自由、幸福、追求の権利が根底から覆される明らかな危険がある場合。というのが要件の核心であります。抽象的な存立の危機ということではありません。今言ったような明らかな危険がどうやって生じるか、これはいろいろなケースを想定して言えるものではありません。実際に起きてくることをさまざまな要素を総合的に考えなければならないわけです。ただ考える要素としてこのある起きてきたことが、この日本が直接武力の攻撃を受けた場合と同様な深刻かつ重大な被害を被ることが明らかな状況を指しているわけでありますのでそうい、そういう点から吟味していくことが大切だと思います。So, in regard to your second question,、uh, this idea of、uh, a threat、uh, or a danger that would、uh, threaten the very survival of Japan,、uh, the most important point、uh, th there have been new、uh, conditions uh, that have been uh, defined uh, as, uh, in this regard. But the most important point to keep in mind is that if there is a fundamental danger or a fundamental threat uh, that uh, might fundamentally、uh, Uh, excuse me, threaten、uh, to overturn uh, the uh, rights of the Japanese people to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. If a specific、uh, uh, incident occurs uh, that would cause a such、um, uh, a danger uh, to be perceived, uh, then, uh, then uh, we can respond to it.、Um, This sounds ambiguous, however, it is not an ambiguous、uh, threat. It, it's very, very specific. It says that.、Um, If something happens and you can clearly see, it is objectively seen that Japan、uh, and its people、uh, would have their、uh, rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness threatened or overturned, and then we can respond.、Uh, and I do not think it is necessarily all that helpful to give very, very specific examples about what might happen or what might not happen, but rather to、uh, take an overall view of what is happening in the world and in the surrounding、um, environment and to be able to comprehensively、uh, look at the potential dangers、uh, so that we can prepare for them.、Uh, that, I think,、uh, is Is the most important thing to keep in mind. And the fundamental idea, again, is that even if an attack、uh, is not uh, directly, uh, directly to,、uh, directed toward Japan, if the result of that attack、uh, on another force uh, has uh, the similar deep,、uh, serious, and、uh, disastrous, very large scale、um, effects on Japan, as Almost as if、uh, Japan itself were being、uh, directly attacked, then that can be considered、uh, a measure by which we can move. Thank you,、uh, Isabel. Isabel Reynolds from Bloomberg.、Um, you mentioned that one important aspect of Japan's security policy is relations with its neighboring countries.、Um, now, we're, we're coming up to the 50th anniversary of Japan Korea ties. And I understand there's some debate about whether the Prime Minister should attend a ceremony to mark that occasion at the South Korean Embassy. Would you like to see him attend? And what would you like him to say while he's there? はいえー、ブルームバーグ、えー、でございます、えー、先ほどあの周辺、えー、各国との,その関係がその安全保障において重要なあの要素であるというお話がございました、えー、もうじき、えーそのえー、日韓、えー、国交正常化の50周年を迎えるわけでございますが今あの、えー、安倍首相が、えー韓国の大使館で行われるそのセレモニーに出席すべきかどうかということが今その話されているかと思うんでございます。代表ご自身はやはり首相はそれに参加すべきだと思いますでしょうかした方がいいと思われますでしょうかでもし参加しましたらどういうことを言ってもらいたいと思われますでしょうか、まあ、これは日韓の50周年の記念行事はソウルと東京で双方で開催をされるものであります。やはりこの50年の国交正常化およびその後の歩みの意義をかみしめてそしてこれから両国がより強い深い協力関係を確かめて将来に向かって協力し合っていけるそういう場にすべきだと思います。これはまあ公式行事で総理大臣に招待があるというのであればその招待された方々の出席者の動向などもよく配慮した上でソウルと東京それぞれの開催が両国民から見て成功だと
思われるような内容にしてもらいたいと望んでいます。Based on、uh, confirming the trust uh, that we have uh, with each other、uh, and the good relations that we have with each other, to work to strengthen、uh, those feelings of trust and、um, good relations, and so that we can move forward together in a positive way towards、uh, the future.、Um, as I mentioned,、uh, there are、uh, official ceremonies、uh, being held、um, in both、uh, countries, in both cities, and if they are official ceremonies, of course, or official events,、uh, it is only natural that invitations would be issued. And of course,、uh, seeing how、uh, the、uh, reaction To the、uh, different invitations are, 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 are responded to, I think that、uh, it is my great hope that、uh, both ceremonies in both countries、uh, end up being events、uh, that are welcomed and considered successful by the people of both nations. Do you think that、um, the Prime Minister should apologize for the war? えー、いかがでございますでしょうか、えー、安倍首相が、えーまあ、そういう、えー、ところであの、えー、戦争について、まあ、謝罪すべきだと思われますでしょうか安倍首相は歴代の内閣が出してきた考え方、談話等は継承すると述べられているわけですから、まあ、そこに歴代首相の考え方、内閣の考え方は安倍総理と同様のものだとこう思っております。70年の談話を出すと言われておりますがいつどういう内容でお出しになるかは定かではありませんただこれまでの安倍首相の発言を聞く限りではやはり第二次大戦までの日本の振る舞いについて深く反省をした上でそれに基づいて戦後の平和主義の歩みがあってこれからもそのことを強く進めていきたいとこういう一貫した考え方が取られているように思います。Um, Prime Minister Abe has made it clear that、uh, he has intended、uh, to continue、uh, in the footsteps of his predecessors, predecessors、uh, previous Prime Ministers and previous uh, cabinets uh, in regard to、uh, their views about the war. In other words, he is、uh, respecting uh, the uh, previous statements that have been made by uh, previous uh, ministers, Prime Ministers and uh, cabinets. Uh, and I believe that he is consistent uh, in his uh, be beliefs uh, and his statements. Uh, of course, there um, are uh, many. Uh, Excuse me.、Um, it has been stated that、uh, he might likely、uh, issue some kind of a statement、uh, to commemorate the 70th、uh, anniversary of the ending of the war. But in regard to when he might issue such a statement and what the contents might be,、uh, there has not been anything yet determined,、uh, to the best of my knowledge. Having said this, however, until now,、um, I have listened to、uh, the statements that have been made by、uh, Prime Minister Abe, and he has made it very, very clear that、uh, in regard to the actions of Japan、uh, before World War II,、uh, there are, he feels、uh, deep. Remorse, in other words,、uh, the, the Japanese words are fukaku hansei s t e r u And uh, it's on the basis of, of feeling this deep remorse、uh, that Japan has been able to build、uh, over the past 70 years、um, a peaceful path uh, towards uh, a better future. And, and that is the path that he tends to follow、uh, in the future as well.、Uh, I think he has been very, very consistent in all of his statements until now. Linda and then Michael. Linda Sieg with Reuters. I'd like to go back to the、uh, question of the security legislation. You mentioned uh, that uh, one thing that was very important was to keep explaining、uh, to the public、uh, so that they would understand the need for the legislation.、Uh, opinion polls consistently show that a vast majority of people say the explanation has not been sufficient,、uh, that there's a division among voters who see it, it as necessary or unnecessary, but there seems to be a large A、uh, fairly large majority that see no particular need to pass it in this session of Parliament.、Uh, parliament appears、uh, to be going to be extended、uh, at least until some point in August. But do you think it's absolutely necessary to pass this legislation in the current session of Parliament? Or is it possible to、uh, continue to explain it to the public to seek further、um, understanding? Thank you. 
その安保法制についてまた伺いたいと思います先ほどやはりこれ非常に複雑な問題でございますので丁寧にあのその国民に説明をあのし続けるというお話をされたんでございますがやはりこれはあの理解してもらわなくてはいけないというお話をされているんでございますがやはりいろんなそのアンケート調査の結果を見ますとやはりあの多くの方たちがそのいろいろご丁寧にご説明していただいたのにもかかわらずあのよくわからないという方たちがあのほとんどであるというような結果が出ておりますそしてあの賛成反対というのははっきりしているのでございますが大多数の方たちは、えー、今、その,あの法制をあのあの、えー、成立させなきゃいけない理由はよくわからないというふうに言っているわけでございますしかしながら政府の方では今国会に何とかその法制をその、まあ、可決したいというふうに考えているそうでございますのでそのためにあの国会をあの延期して8月まで延期するということになっていると思うんでございますが代表のお考えがかかるございますか何があっても今国会にこれを通過、可決させなきゃいけないというふうに思っておりますでしょうかそれとももっと時間をかけてもっと丁寧に国民の本当の理解を得られるために時間を取るべきだと思いますでしょうか。今まだ国会が予定された会期の途中であります、政府や与党は国民の理解が得られるものと確信を持って、この法案を作り、そして入念に仕上げて出しているわけですから、これを今度の国会で成立させるという責任があると思います、その努力を最後まで尽くしていきたいと思います。確かにこの法制はかなり内容が深く広い、したがって一瞬では飲み込みにくい要素があるかもしれません、しかし繰り返し繰り返し、丁寧に何度も説明を尽くして、国民の理解を進めていく努力がもともと予定されていましたし、これからも必要だと思っています。As you know,、uh, the Diant is still currently、uh, in、uh, its、uh, session, and、uh As、uh, the、uh, member of the government and the ruling、uh, parties,、uh, we have、uh, decided、um, uh, in advance that we would do our Very best、uh, to ensure、uh, the passage of this legislation、uh, during this current session.、Uh, we have、uh, understood that this would be a very, very difficult uh, task, uh, but because we have set this uh, task uh, uh, before us、uh, from the beginning,、uh, we believe that we have the responsibility to see it through to the very end.、Um, having said this,、um, we understand and we have understood from the very beginning that、uh, this is a legislation that is very, very、uh, deep in nature in terms of contents and that the contents also are very, very、um, wide ranging. And therefore, it is not something that you can immediately understand in just one hearing or just listening、uh, or studying briefly about this.、Uh, in other words, we knew from the very beginning that because it was such wide ranging and complex and, and difficult legislation, that we would have to repeatedly explain to the public in a very, very uh, careful uh, and、um, understandable way in order to gradually over time be able to get the, the understanding of、uh, the people. And so, we do, again, as I said earlier, intend to see it through to the end. We do wish. Uh, to un- gain the understanding of the pe- people and to pass it in this current session.、Uh, I think Linda's point might have been the more that you explain, the less people seem to understand. Is that what you were kind of saying? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's me reading into your question. Sorry about that. 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 されますとされるほどあかえって国民が混乱しちゃうというようなそういうようなちょっとネガティブな効果が出てきてるんじゃないかと、まあ、そういうようなことを示唆しているんではないかと思うんですがいかがでしょうか、えー、もっと基本に戻って、えー、体系的に全体を説明するという機会があっていいと思っています。えー、報道さされるるるあるいいはは議論になるというとうころは、まあ、部分的なあ観点でそこが課題に表現されているようにも思いますもう少しその全体的な趣旨や構造そしてどういう歯止めが施されているかそうしたことを分かりやすく議論するまた情報を提供するそういう努力がもっと必要だと思っています。Um, I believe what is necessary is that、uh, we have an opportunity、uh, to go back to the basics, explaining、uh, this、uh, legislation from the very, very beginning.、Uh, in other words,、uh, recently I've been watching the media, and we, of course you've been watching、uh, the diet deliberations, and it seems that、uh, the discussions have focused on. 
just certain aspects of this uh, very, very large piece of legislation. And uh, the specific small aspects that are being uh, focused upon are given much more coverage and much more attention uh, so that one cannot see the overall whole. I think it is um, important that we uh, take the opportunity and try to gain the understanding of the public by going back to the original intent be uh, behind our proposing uh, this legislation uh, to try to give an idea of the overall structure of the legislation and also explain very carefully to the public what kind of safeguards or what kind of uh, checks are included uh, in the overall legislation to ensure that things do not go uh, too far. In other words, we have to continue to provide information in a very understandable way. Thank you. Michael, uh, first, and uh, can I ask everybody, we're into the last 10 minutes, so can you keep your questions short if possible? Thanks. Uh, Michael Penner, the Shingetsu News Agency. In March of 2003, uh, there was a threat which was uh, portrayed as a, an existential threat to the international community, which was the weapons of mass destruction possessed by the regime of Saddam Hussein. And on the basis of this existential threat, uh, the, the, much of the U.S. and its allies, including Japan, uh, supported a, a, an attack on that country, even though it was not uh, supported by the United Nations. Uh, and in fact, I remember that the most critical uh, voice in Japan against France was that time uh, Deputy, uh, Deputy Chief Cabinet Secretary Shinzo Abe. My question to you is, if we don't understand what happened in the past, how can we protect ourselves in the future? The Japanese government, even until now, has never allowed an independent and full investigation of its own policy-making process in regard to the support of the Iraq War. Wouldn't it be a good opportunity to do that now, to make sure that in the future there isn't some threat that is portrayed as existential, which is not actually existential? はい、え、新月ニュースエージェンシーでございます。え、2003年の3月にあの、え、本当に存立のえ、ま、危機というような、え、その状態と言われたものがありました。で、これはその大量破壊兵器が存在する、え、そしてやっぱりあの、多くの
を加盟国として担ったということでありますそしてそのやった仕事そのものは大いに高く評価されそしておおむね成功したとこう評価しております。At the time,、uh, the Japanese, at the time, the thinking in Japan、uh, was as that、um, not whether or not、uh, to support or not support the Iraq war, but rather Japan made the decision、uh, based on a resolution passed by the United Nations to help、uh, offer support in terms of the humanitarian and、uh, reconstructive work uh, in uh, Iraq. As a member of the United Nations,、uh, it felt that it had a responsibility to offer humanitarian and reconstruction、uh, support. Uh, that is why the self defense forces were sent to Samoa. Excuse me, part of、um, Iraq.、Um, I would like to make it very clear, however, that、uh, Japan、uh, did not take part in any kind of armed conflict、uh, in the war and it did not provide logistical or rear uh, support uh, to uh, the armed forces there.、Uh, so, uh, and in regard to、uh, your suggestion that one looks back over past policies and try to learn from、uh, past policies, certainly I do not、uh, deny that、uh, that is a very useful uh, um, uh, activity. Uh, but at the same time, I, I would like to again repeat that Japan did not take part in armed attacks and it did not provide logistical support. It took part in what, san- what was sanctioned by the United Nations the、um, idea of providing humanitarian reconstruction、um, support. And I would also like to add that、um, the work of the self defense forces、uh, in that regard were highly regarded by the international community. しし And I would also like to explain that we have learned、uh, from、uh, the bitter lessons of the past.、Uh, at the time of the Iraq War,、uh, our activities、uh, were sanctioned、um, as a pa- by the passage of a special measures law. However,、um, special measures laws、um, are. are Things that you have to deliberate each and every time. And so, in order to、uh, counter some of the difficulties of handling special measures laws or passing special measures laws, we've decided to、uh, improve on this、um, process by passing a permanent law、uh, this time. And having, however,、um, proposed this、um, permanent、uh, legislation, we have ensured that there are three prerequisites、uh, for being able to provide a logistical support. One is that it must be an action that is condoned by the international community, in other words,、uh, by the United Nations. And secondly, that we must have prior approval of、uh, the、uh, Japanese diet. And thirdly, that the uh, security uh, or the safety of the self defense for- personnel,、uh, self defense forces personnel, must uh, be uh, secured uh, on the responsibility of the Minister of Defense. And specifically, what I mean by that is That、uh, the self defense forces personnel will only be sent to areas where、um, it is not predicted that、uh, any armed conflict will arise. Thank you. <clears throat> well, I am, I am tempted to take、uh, one more question, but we have been told to wind up at exactly,、um, <clears throat> at exactly four o'clock. So, with apologies to people who still have their hands up,、uh, we'll wind up there. Uh, can you、uh, please show your appreciation to、uh, Mr. Yamaguchi for coming and explaining his policies and being so forthright, and also to the wonderful Takamatsu san who、uh, had to explain all that in English? Thank you so much. Thank you very much.、Uh, can I just remind you, first of all, that two of the three scholars who、uh, disagreed with the interpretation, the government's interpretation of the Constitution, will talk here on Monday, is that right, Chung san? Monday,、uh, next Monday, that is.、Uh, so, if you're interested in、uh, a bun fight, come along to that. Uh, and uh, can I also remind you, please, to stay seated until、uh, Mr. Yamaguchi leaves the room? Thank you.